What's up and welcome back. Today, you are having lunch with me. That's right, I haven't eaten lunch. I've got my sushi plate here. What I thought would be pretty cool is also having sushi puzzles to solve. Now, how cool is that? Before we get into this puzzle, however, don't forget to check out first.shop. We launched new merch, including this. Look at this beautiful patch, all these dope things. First.shop for all your merch needs. I really should cut this part out. So today we're looking at three puzzles. Now I've had these puzzles for a long time because I've had this idea for a long time. Well, actually before the pandemic, I wanted to do this video with Babish from Binging with Babish because obviously food and I thought it'd be great if we saw these together, but now we can't be together because the pandemic. So here we are. So we got three puzzles here. First of which, oh my gosh, this is beautiful. This is, uh, these are chopsticks in here by Robert Yarger, stick man, really famous puzzle crafter. This thing is really hard to come by. I have all these sushi here, but nothing to eat it with. I'll need to get the chopsticks out. So that's number one. Once we get the chopsticks out, we've got two Karakuri specials here. We've got a lovely sushi here. Oh, look at this. Oh, is that broken? Oh, it broke. This little bowl broke. It's broken. It's broken. Uh, that's fine. We'll put that aside. Oh, it really sucks. Little sushi plate. Oh, that's for this. Here we go. Boom. So we got that and that. And I should probably turn this camera on real quick. And we also have, oh, we have chopsticks here. Look at that, which we will not be using. Teeny little chopsticks. And, and we, oh, <laughs> we got a whole plate of sushi right here. How dope is this? And I can go there. Boom. So here we go. This is, pr I'm looking forward to this and I'm very hungry. So don't forget to smash like before we get into this. This is also ASMR, ASMR food channel uh, for all your eating needs. Okay. So first things first, the chopsticks by Robert Yarger. Beautiful, beautiful. You got his little logo here, little stick man. And we got a hole at the top. I don't see any seams. Oh, there is a seam. Oh! We have a chopstick. Oh, and see it's blocked. It's in there, but it is blocked. It can't come out that side. There's something uh, holding it. That's a beautiful little chopstick. Very nice. Still need one more. Okay, so that opens there. This also should slide. Maybe it's orientation based. Oh, the other side. Aha! So you gotta like play around with these two things in order for it to release these two things here. Do, 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 do. And then one at a time. And I'm guessing the other half of the puzzle is to put them back in, which we will not be doing right away because we're going to use these. These are sick. Look at these. Okay. So next up we have this. I don't know, you know what? I don't even know if I wanna use these. I think I'm gonna use different chopsticks because I think these are just, uh, these are too nice. I don't wanna ruin this beautiful puzzle. So I'm gonna leave this aside and we're gonna put those back. I brought some other chopsticks. All right, how weird is it to watch me? I've, I don't think I've ever eaten anything on video. I feel very bizarre. Mmm, delicious. Oh my God, so good. Okay, here, we got a little shrimp. Is this sashimi? I'm trying, is this sashimi? Yeah. I guess, yeah. I guess this would be sashimi. I guess that's what it is. Here's what I'm thinking. You gotta dunk it in, right? There's gotta be a magnet here somewhere. Huh. Okay, let's put this one aside for now. Let's try this one. Here we've got all sorts of little sushis, which are amazing. We got this little chopstick. Oh, I guess you gotta, I guess there's ways to take them out. That's stuck there, okay. Huh. Well, that, well, that looks like 
Isn't that cool? Looks kind of delicious. Okay, so I'm guessing these chopsticks have to be used somehow. Was this a box? Oh, it's a box. <gasps> That's what it is. Man, I'm getting stumped by these little Karakori puzzles, which uh, I quite appreciate. Lee, what would you do with this box right now? You have to eat for fuel so you can think better. You're, you know what? That's not a bad point. I haven't eaten lunch. I need some brain fuel. Spin move? Possibly? I don't hear any internal rattling. Oh, is this one piece? so close to coming out but it's not coming out what's the uh what's the proper way of holding chopsticks by the way so i i don't think i'm holding them properly you guys let me know i'm holding them like this um i hear it's like this like everything's in the index finger so it's kind of like that i think that's the proper way i don't have as much control because i i, I haven't used it like that i i kind of i have an amateurish uh grip on chopsticks okay so you can destroy me in the comments Make fun of me all you like, but I'm the one sitting here solving puzzles, eating sushi. Not a bad idea. Yep. Is there steps to eating sushi? Lee just asked if there were steps to eating sushi. As in, maybe you have to follow certain steps. Like, I don't even know what this is. Is this like dumplings? What's in here? Little sushi rolls? All right, get back to that one in a second. All right, we know the tail. Um, we know that the tail moves here. Just don't know what, how to make that tail move. Whether it's magnetized. Hmm. There don't seem to be any magnets in these. All right. Now, I actually, what's funny is I actually thought this was going to be the hardest one to open. But turns out these are giving me a run for my money. All right. I'm looking at this one right now. What would you guys do at home? How would you go about opening this one? Something's hindering it from pulling out entirely. Not a big ginger fan. Wasabi though, all day long. All right, you know what? Take a break from those two and let's try to get these chopsticks back in. Now I'm pretty sure orientation is very important here. Oh, it clicks into place there. So it falls in there. Mmm. Okay. I think this one needs to go in backwards here, like so. And then I turn it, close that. Sorry. Boom. Solved. All right. One down. Oh, boom, gotcha. All right, so there's a little pin in there and you had to, you know, you gotta like debone the shrimp or whatever, take out, take off the, uh, the end of it. And now it's stuck. That's it. That's pretty cool. Stuck and I bang it on both sides. 
Just the one side. Yep. That's pretty cool. I'm not I'm not mad at that. So what does this have to do with anything? It's probably just decoration. It looks pretty good. Two out of three, two out of three are now solved on the last one. Maybe. Maybe same technique. This one's giving me the hardest time. No, I forgot to say it. Itadakimasu. Which is, thank you for this food in Japanese. I'm quite rude because I'm saying it's so late. Oishi. Okay, can I see anything here? So I feel like this whole compartment here is a separate compartment from this. Um, and what I mean by that is that I think this is the box and I think this is how to open that box. Maybe the chopsticks have something to do with it. Tiny little magnets. Chopsticks definitely have to be a part of it. Just testing to see if there's like some weird magnet which would allow something to open in some positions to seem like it. Oops. This as well. Hmm. It's got to have something to do with the chopsticks. And the fact that they can only fit. This thing wiggles, but I'm afraid it's just glued down. And that it's wiggling because the glue is undoing, like coming undone. So. Whoop. There we go. Ta-da! Wait, how does that work? Oh, wow. So that is really locked in there. Um, and when this thing comes out, that little pull, that little pin, uh, holds the top of this, which is quite cool. Bam. That is pretty dope. Little keepsake, that goes there. Boom, that goes there. Now we're locked back in, woohoo! Let's put these chopsticks away. This goes back in here, like so. This goes there. One, two, and three. Solved before we could even finish the plate of sushi. How dope is that? Well, hot dang! There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Um, Thanks so much for watching this. Um, definitely leave a like if you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next video. Peace.